Hello, community. So today, some use cases. I asked ChatGPT, hey, I would like to focus on the topic how to improve my self-awareness, strengthen my emotional well-being, and do something in general for my personal development. How would you as an AI system be able to support me on my journey? And ChatGPT came back and gave me some information, and now I'm going to try today. Number two, so what we say? Uh, okay, so let's reflect on your item number two, reflection and journaling. You say that you can ask questions and discuss here thoughts, emotion, and experiences. So you help me to gain deeper insight into myself and my journey of personal growth. Let's start with this exercise. So let's see what he comes up with. I'm here to assist you in this. Let's begin with a reflection and journaling. Take a moment to find a quiet and comfortable space in front of your computer where you can focus without distraction. Where's my coffee? Once you're ready, you can proceed. Ready. Reflect on your personal growth journey. Oh, that's it. That's a, that's a sad chapter. Start by taking a few deep breaths to relax and center yourself. Centered. Think about your personal growth journey so far. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't do this to me. Consider the challenges you have faced, the lessons you have learned, and the progress you have made. Uh, zero, zero, and zero. Reflect on experiences and moments that have shaped you. Desperate. Desperate. Well. Wow. As you reflect, write down your thoughts and feelings in the journal or a document. You can use prompts to guide your writing or simply let your thoughts flow freely. What are some significant milestones in your personal growth history? What challenges or obstacles have you overcome? What are key lessons you have learned about yourself and your life? How have your priorities, value, beliefs evolved throughout your journey? Strengths or qualities you have discovered or developed within yourself? Are there any patterns or recurring themes you notice in your personal growth journey? Take your time to reflect, deep, deep dive into your thoughts and emotion, write as much as you feel comfortable sharing and exploring any insights that emerge. Once you've finished writing, read through your reflection, consider how you can apply these insights to your future development. Remember, this exercise is meant to support your self-awareness and personal growth. Feel free to revisit and reflect on your journal entries whenever you feel the need for introspection or guidance. Okay, so let's start with journaling. In this scenario, I am a 80-year-old man. Comma. And in my last days, I'm trying to make some sense of my life by starting a YouTube channel. Now, unfortunately, I noticed that people are only interested in the hype of new large language models about some code segments they can copy from somebody, comma, without even reading or understanding any piece of code and just jump ahead without any deeper understanding of the system inherent working. So I find myself now in a spot where my YouTube channel does not reflect the pulse of the time and suddenly I realized that my YouTube channel will not grow at all, and I'm not happy about this. Should I continue with my identical pattern how to create YouTube videos, or is it the time to start something new? Yeah, new. I said new, not you. Something new. So let's see. 
It's understandable. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait a second. Jesus, I'm an 80 year old man, so do not behave in this way. It is understandable that you are feeling frustrated and uncertain about the direction of your YouTube channel. Reflecting on your personal growth journey at this stage of your life is an valuable endeavor. Let's explore your thoughts and emotion. Here we go. First, take a moment to acknowledge your passion for sharing knowledge. Yes, I know this. I know this, but my audience. And your desire for your YouTube channel to reflect the pulse of the time. It is important to align your content with your own interests and values. Okay, baby. So what is the primary motivation behind your YouTube channel? Money. Is it solely about gaining a large following? Yes. Or is it more about sharing your knowledge and experience with others? No. Are you still enjoying creative, creating content on your current pattern? Despite the lack of growth? Yes, I do it for myself and every day I learn something new. Is it fulfilling for you on a personal level? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. When I produce the videos, yes. But the next morning when I come down and I see nobody watched it, no. Are there any aspects of your current content that I genuinely enjoy creating and want to continue exploring? <sighs> Do I enjoy it? No, I'm desperate. Are there any alternative content ideas or approaches that align more closely with your own interest and passion? What new topics or format could you introduce to your channel? Yeah, this is what I'm asking you. My goodness, ChatGPT, think. How important is growth to you at this stage? Are there any other ways you can measure the success in financial terms and impact your channel beyond sheer gold nuggets? No. Consider the following suggestion. Oh, yeah. Authenticity. Stay true to yourself and your interest. Consider incorporating elements of your personal growth journey and life experiences into your content. Share your wisdom, stories, and perspectives that come with being an 80-year-old individual. Beautiful. Explore new content ideas. <laughs> if I could come up with ideas, brainstorm alternative topics that combine your technical knowledge with your personal journey. Desperation. This might solve showcasting how artificial intelligence has evolved over the years and sharing insights on the ethical implications of AI. Connect with a like-minded community. Yes, I've noticed there are some highly intelligent people out there. Yes, I know. Seek out individuals or communities. I try. I say hello community every time I start a video and people make fun out of me here. She has my passion for deeper understanding and appreciation of a technology. Yes, engage in conversations. Well, I don't know about conversations. Experiment with different formats. <laughs> if I have an idea, consider incorporating storytelling. You mean something like a personal note to a YouTube video? I don't know if I am able to do this. Interviews. I can interview myself. Or interactive elements to engage your audience on a deeper level. Experiment with new formats might attract a broader range of viewers. Uh, reflect on your personal fulfillment. Should we have some joy of making a YouTube video? Yes, absolutely. Remember that the joy and the satisfaction you derive from creating content should not solely depend on external validation. Well, you know, I was brought up as a little boy and uh, yes, <clears throat> focus on creating content that brings you happiness and a sense of fulfillment, regardless of the size of your audience. Okay, 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 I can, I can live with that. Yeah, okay. Ultimately, the decision to continue with your current pattern or start something new rests with myself. Take the time to reflect on your goals, interests, and personal fulfillment. Trust your instincts and choose a path that aligns with your values and brings you the most joy and satisfaction. Yes, I'm looking for joy and satisfaction in my YouTube videos. But unfortunately, those stupid YouTube algorithm and code evaluation sequences and what the heck do not appreciate my unique knowledge that I present to the world. 
Okay, maybe it is time I have to change myself a little tiny bit and become more open and uh, give my YouTube channel a personal touch and maybe even, yes, I don't know. Any further recommendation from your side?